I'm going to create another coin in Substance Painter, and I'm also going to show you um, a different Blender add-on called uh, Asset Sketcher that I'm going to use to uh, populate them in my scene instead of using a particle system. Okay, so here I've got my basic coin, and uh, I'm just going to throw on that as a smart material, that steel. I'm going to create a folder here, drag them in. All right, and I'm going to create a fill layer with a black mask. And I'm going to do this without color. I'll keep everything else the same. And I'm going to bring my height up and come back. And for the alpha, I'm going to choose square. I'll use this one. Just like I did in the last video. Come over to here. Let's go to uh, orthographic view and look at the side. I'm going to switch on symmetry, radio, and the Y, 360, count of 16. And let's just see what this would look like if I put it right there. Squeeze this a little bit. I'll do this relatively quick. It's so small in this scene. Okay, I'm going to do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll leave on symmetry. Let's do another part here. We can do it on the same layer. Uh, but I want to change my alpha to, let's see, uh, parabolic, where it is, parabola, what is it, paraboloid, that's what it is, okay, change my size to about 8, and uh, let's see, Good enough. Let's go on the underside. That's okay. All right, now I'm going to create another fill layer with another black mask. And I don't want color again. Um, I might go in this time. We'll see, but I'm going to bring in another alpha. I'm going to use this alpha here and I'll put this on the Zero Bio Discord server in the reference channel. Uh, it'll be there for a while, anyhow, if you want to try using that. I'm going to set it as an alpha and I'm just going to import it to the project. Okay, so there it is. Come back to my mask, drag it over, turn off symmetry. We'll make this around 150 or so. Let's rotate that back. Well, let's try 170. Oh, no, 160. Okay, so I'm going to export those textures. I have coin two in the name. <laughs> All right, well, there it is, anyhow. Okay, two coins. Let's take this one and make it smaller. Let's 
save that and here we go I'm gonna maximize this and we're gonna spread this one around first of all okay so uh, I'm gonna press N all right what I need to do let's get rid of this is I need to take this coin that I've got selected and import it uh, create a new asset sorry so that's gonna be that this one I need to make sure I name these differently so let's create a new asset of that one coin zero zero one okay that's fine so I've got both of those in my library here so I'm going to take this one and I am going to use paint mode I'm going to use a brush size um, if I enable sketching you can see this so I can press F change the size I want it around the size of my coin just makes sense to me okay let's disable that for a second so I'm gonna put my brush size there and I've got the coin selected that's the one I'm going to use asset distance this is the distance between my coins I'm gonna put that at 0 0.1 try that and it should follow my slope okay I want some random rotation in the Z because of the pattern here I want different coins to be roughly rotated it's hard to tell with this pattern but I'm gonna choose 75% uh, there and random scale I'm gonna put uh, 0.7 we'll try that they'll be relatively flat on here okay so let's look down from the top and let's enable sketching and just start dragging okay oh that's crazy now you can press control and delete those I can define what surfaces I want this on so I'm going to zoom in here and I can delete the coins that I don't like let's just have a look Okay, I can see a, ch a difference in scale and a small distance in rotate difference in rotation. All right, they're laying on the surface relatively nicely. Okay, if I want some more, I just I can even click individually, and it will uh, randomize them, or I can paint a bunch if I want some difference in rotation in the X and Y I can do that so for example if I wanted 45 degrees in the Y and uh, you know, 30 degrees here you know you could do that um, I'm not sure that I really want uh, to do that at this point so I'm gonna do that okay so now let's now disable sketching and let's grab this guy which is this one actually I just have to select it here I can I'll use the same basic uh, parameters let's see random rotation here uh, uh, we'll do uh, 75 again asset distance 0 0.1 random scale 0 0.1 Eight maybe this time and let's try that let's just start drawing yeah you can see the rotation better in these get rid of those guys Now, it may not look all that realistic unless they are rotated into the ground a bit. Let's disable that for now and hide that. You notice my polys didn't go up, all right, other than the original coins that were there with the modified fires applied, um, which was just a subdivision surface. Uh, these look a little small, but let's just look in random view. And that's what it looks like so far. So it's just a quick way to scatter um, 
these these coins and, and to randomize them. Uh, and again, I, uh, my feeling was I wanted them um, flat on the surface, but I could, of course, come in here and just you know arbitrarily rotate some of these if I wanted to do that. I wouldn't have, you know, shouldn't have to do all this by hand, but you know, uh, you know again, I could set it so. there you go that's another quick way of doing it without setting up particle systems and all of that thirty dollars for the for the add-on it's a paid add-on uh, asset sketcher now, of course there's other ones there's there's a scatter um, but I, I chose this one it was a little bit cheaper and uh, it's got some other functions that I'll, I'll show you uh, and when I need to use them in the future okay so I now have two coins uh, in there and I think that's uh, good enough.